Reef boys and girls, welcome back to a match day vlog where we take on Manchester City at the Etihad. What a hard game this is going to be. Of course, we're doing an overnight stay. I'm in the hotel now. This is what it's looking like, boys. It's actually really, really nice. I'll show you some footage of the outside of it as well. I can't find the light for the bathroom, but that is also really nice. Lovely stuff. As you can see by the title, I am sitting in the home end, so I need this to cover us up. City's academy pitch, but I don't know. I'm about to go in now, lads. Honestly, boys, wishes luck in. I've literally got my Newcastle top on underneath, so wishes luck. Quick sneak peek, boys. Wishes luck. <laughs>
Right then boys, oh my god, I finally got home. What a game that was, man. There's so much to talk about, and we're going to talk about it all now. I know I didn't talk much in the video. What I'm tending to do, and I'm really going to really want to do, is for Adivanar, when, whenever... I'm, I'm definitely going to move away from using my phone 100% I'm going to get a camera which I can just hold on a stick and just go like that's much better than getting your phone on like that because everybody stares at you like I was getting so many looks just for taking clips at the games um I don't know why it, it, it is some people's jobs do you know what I mean it's it's it, it's not that big of a deal the match day program is here but like I said Manchester City the treble winners you can't you can't give them any time whatsoever Alvarez's goal, I'm, I said to my dad, I literally said to him, because this is who I went to the game with, um, we were sat in the home end, I said to my dad, I'm so annoyed that we played well, fair enough, we didn't play good in some spells, but we played well and we lost to a goal like that, and I was like, oh, I can't believe, I can't believe, and he was like, son, you want to lose to goals like that, at least you know that you lost by a good goal, and it was only that goal, and I was coming to think of it, I was like, do you know what, I, you're right, it, it is good to lose by a goal like that, because you can't really do nothing about it, rather than having a sloppy goal, or a tiny little tap and scored against you, but Tonali played well, um, it's just, in areas of the pitch, people were saying uh, Bruno didn't play well. Fair enough, he didn't have his best game. Joel Linton played well. Yet again, didn't have his best game. Harvey Barnes. It's Man City, lads. They've won the treble. The champions of England. The champions of Europe. At their backyard, uh, back garden. Sorry, We really, really should be just proud that it was 1-0. And we played well. We give them a game. Normally in that Bruce would be, Oh, get, get the ball away from me. Give it to someone else. You know, panic, panic. Just play the ball anywhere, give it straight back to them, 5-0, shots from outside the box, corners, um, but no, we we went to Man City, we give them a game, we genuinely give them a game, they were a bit scared to press with in the first 30 minutes, I, I wouldn't say, no, nah, I'd probably say from 25 to 45 minutes, that was probably my best spell, but as for the people of Manchester, I was actually, someone in the crowd, I'm not even joking, someone was actually shouting the whole game, put that on your TikTok, Josh, that's not going on TikTok, I mean, to be fair, it, it was pretty embarrassing. I mean, he kept shouting from like three rows behind us and all the way. It was a bit embarrassing. He kept shouting me name. It's it's not that big of a deal. I, mean, I don't even know how he knew it was me from the back of my head. But, oh well, there uh, we'll have it. Uh, apart from that bloke, everyone in Manchester was actually so friendly. Like, they genuinely were. And I was in McDonald's with my dad and some bloke came up to me and went, he isn't the manager for you. And I was like, does this bloke think I'm a Man City fan? And he went, he isn't the manager for you. I was like, What? He went, Eddie Howe, and I went, right, that's the most outrageous thing I've ever heard. Eddie Howe was in the manager for us. He's one of the, he's like, I, I couldn't have picked anyone better. The only manager that I would take over Eddie Howe is Pep Guardiola. And would I take Pep Guardiola? No. I'd genuinely rather Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe is the most perfect manager in the world for us. In 20 years time, maybe, do you know what I mean? I, 20 years is a long time, like, but then he said, he said, I did kind of understand what he said. He went, he's not the manager if he's got no Champions League experience. Went, fair enough. But why on earth would you sack him before you've even given him a chance in the Champions League? I'll g I would give Eddie Howe seven, eight years max. Uh, minimum, sorry, not max. Minimum, seven, eight years minimum. Um, I, I don't know why Pep Guardiola... Uh, sorry, I don't know why that bloke was even thinking that. Because Pep Guardiola, bearing in mind when he was at Man City, they got a lot of chances getting knocked out by... Was it Leon? I don't know if they got knocked out by Leon, but I know it was Monaco, it's Schalke, loads of teams were just knocking them out. And bearing in mind the amount of money they've spent as well, but they are the champions of Europe, they are the champions of England. What a game, man. What a game. That was my third season in a row being at Man City. It went from 5-0 to 2-0 to 1-0. Next season, we'll have to get something. We'll have to beat better, lads. But anyways, thank you very much for watching the Match Day Vlogs. It will get better next time. Trust us, I'll have the camera. I'll be speaking the whole game. So I'll see you then, boys. Thank you.